This video is a follow-up, and you can watch the original here. But if you're too lazy, or if you just don't like YouTubers telling you what to do, here's a lightning fast recap. The goal of each level is to hit any checkpoints and get the flag, but we have to do so without using hydraulics, springs, rope, or cable. Additionally, whenever possible, we'll try to finish a level under budget and unbreaking without using any cheats. With that in mind, let's try to beat every challenge level with only wood, steel, and road. Just like last time, we get a bunch of levels which are impossible to fail because they don't offer us off-limits materials, so we get those for free. And luckily, these copycat bridges will also get for free because they work with the exact same solutions as the normal levels. Some of these are because the challenge is just no hydraulics or no springs, but others just don't really change what we went for in the original. Regardless, we can go ahead and mark all of those off. And next we have similar bridges, which are almost the same as they were in the normal levels, but they are technically different, so I do have to show them to you. We have an assortment of bridges here, and even a catapult to round out the starting group. These bridges have to stand strong, using only wood as supports. And these levels involve sorting vehicles into their proper flags. We then finish the category with some well-supported bridges and the infamous double catapult. And with that, we finish the category 100% under budget and unbreaking. We follow that up with a repeat category, strong bridges, which involves exactly what it sounds like, building strong bridges. We start off with some weirdly shaped bridges that need to be well supported. And these levels don't allow steel, so we have to rely on really good wood and road supports. Then we have the hard levels. The bottom two levels were over budget for their normal versions, and these are even more difficult, so they will once again be over budget here. So with that, we finish the Strong Bridges category, though the last two levels were over budget. We can then move on to a personal favorite of mine, Jumps. We have some classic jump levels to start us off. And we follow that up with what I like to call the Loop Extravaganza. Then we have Tipping Tower where we put safety gaps on the actual tipping tower so the bus can get there and back without any issues. So with that, we finish the jumps category, under budget and unbreaking, allowing us to move on to an oldie but a goodie, trapdoors. And we have some fun trapdoors to start us off here, including a lever which spans the length of the whole level. And this is our complicated trapdoors segment, with vehicles weaving in and out of them as much as they please. Without too much trouble, we complete the trapdoors category and can move on to our first innovation of the challenge levels, the tow truck. Tow truck is a very useful technique where you can avoid making a drawbridge by connecting vehicles together and forcing them to go at the same time. It takes quite a while, this footage is sped up significantly, but it can be a lifesaver. And we can quickly put three more tow trucks to work, all avoiding the problem of boats with checkpoints nested in the middle. All of our tow trucks were under budget and unbreaking, 
So we're ready to move on to the final category where we go through every level one by one. Now to start off with, we have 5-2-C sorting. The premise of the level is to do a hydraulic lift like so, where you can rearrange the vehicles to allow them to pass by. The taxi and limo are lifted up to allow the city car to pass through. Then the limo comes back down so he can make it into his cubby, and the taxi finishes off the level. However, obviously this is nonsense for us. Without hydraulics, we don't have a way to lift these roads up and down. So we have to get a little bit creative. And so you can see the taxi drives into place to allow the limo to deposit a road so that the city car can drive on top of the limo and make it to his flag. Then the limo flips that road over, drives over the taxi, and makes it into his flag, and then roads drop off to allow the taxi to finish off the level. Next, we have 28C split level, where the challenge is that we're limited to 10 roads. And this is a problem because on the normal version of the level, we could send the A car up above the plane and the C car down below it. But here, we just have enough roads to span this gap. And that's true because the intended solution is this hydraulic lift mechanism, very similar to the last level, where the city car can get his checkpoint, the taxi can finish, the roads come back up, and then the city car can finish the level out. But once again, we can't do even really a similar solution. So instead we end up with this jank nonsense. But I'll explain everything as it becomes relevant. So first we have the city car tumble over the taxi and cross these safety gaps which are required to give the roads enough distance to get to the end. Once he hits the checkpoint, this road's gonna drop off, which gives a gap for the taxi to get to the flag and wiggle his way in. Once he does that, the city car is gonna come across, make this jump here, and then come and get ready to load this catapult, which is only gonna work because this fragile piece of wood is gonna snap at the right time and allow it to freely rotate and launch the car into the flag, completing the level. Under budget, but breaking. To follow that up, we now have 51C brake pad, which is our first repeat question mark level. For those that don't remember, the intended solution is to use springs to launch the vehicle back once he hits a stop checkpoint into the flag. And on the normal level, we were able to use a half pipe to circumvent this. But now, since this area is sloped down, it doesn't work quite so well anymore. So we thought for a while about what to do, and the best we could come up with is to launch him off the top and hope for a good bounce. And as you can see here, he bounces front, bounces back, swings, swings, and lands on some roads as he continues to glide into the finish. And with that, we beat the level under budget and unbreaking. Then we have 513C Crash Course, where the intended solution is just to use a bunch of spring trap doors to let vehicles go under and over each other until they manage to get to their flag. And you can see it's not a, it's not crazy to see how you could do a similar idea with wood or steel rope. Might take a lot of tweaking, but you could probably get there. But we thought about it and said, why do that when we can just make the buses into their own ramps? And you can see that working here, as the two vehicles start, drive on top of each other, and this bus starts to go up the first bus ramp, which is still on top of the second bus ramp, 
comes down, loads the second bus, gets stopped by this ledge here, and drives all the way up and over. And then is going to make it to its flag. And over here you can see it's only going to work because he still has to make it to the flag because this ramp can slide up and over this ledge. And once it does, we've finished the level under budget and unbreaking. Then we have 215C weight distribution, where they got rid of the balloon, which is the only reason our last design worked. And the intended solution is once again some spring nonsense, where you can just believe in the power of springs and all the vehicles will magically get to the right spot. But without springs, we're in a bit of a pickle. So without the balloon, we realized our only way forward was a lever. And so this entire mechanism rotates around this joint and has a resting point here and against the wall here. And the Vespas are just light enough that it doesn't tip it, but with the ambulance, it tips, gets to the flag, and the Vespa can finish. However, this is very over budget, uh, and it was a challenge to keep it under double budget, but we did manage to get it unbreaking. Now we have 41C Edgy, where they've thrown another boat over here, so we can't really do another trap door like we did last time. And so the intended solution is obviously you just use hydraulics to avoid the boats, yada yada yada. But once again, not really an option for us. So we have to brainstorm a little bit. And after having a bit of a brain blast, I realized levers are the way forward. And so this entire mechanism here balances on this singular point which means that as it turns, the boats come and barely dodge as it comes back and lets the vehicle drive back up and finish the level. Now obviously this was an incredibly over budget, incredibly breaking solution, but a glorious one nonetheless. Then we have 514C bus routes, which is a tricky enough level by itself, but now this e-car needs to get down to this flag, which presents a whole new set of challenges. The intended way to do this just involves a lot of hydraulics and a lot of brain power, but we don't have either of those on our side. So we'll have to come up with something else. Now, trapdoors can get us part of the way there, but we definitely can't replicate this in its entirety. So we're gonna have to get pretty creative. And that's how we end up with this monstrosity. So the first thing you might notice is this van is gonna get pulled off and eventually totally off this platform onto the ground here. And it's being drugged down by all these nodes descending into the void. Meanwhile, this articulated bus is going to come and go underneath this trap door. Once he makes it through, he's going to hit this checkpoint, and then these roads are going to fall off, making way for the van and bus later. Now the bus is going to head across, and once he hits his checkpoint, a couple things are going to happen. So when he hits it, these roads are going to fall off, this trap door is going to spring free. At the same time, this van is going to finally drop down, and this road is going to bounce it so he's ready to drive the right way. And with the trap doors earlier, the path is clear for him to make it all the way to the flag. Meanwhile, the bus is also sliding off of these roads, even though he's not driving anymore. And he's actually going to fully slide off and balance his tip on that road there. 
van made it all the way, and now the articulated bus just needs to drive up this trap door, come across, drive up the second trap door, and get to the flag, which flips the van and sends him all the way to the flag, completing the level, unbreaking, but over budget. Then we have 113C Redraw, which, to be honest, is just getting stupid. I mean, we'll look at the intended solution, not like it's gonna help, but... This boat is so big, how... Without hydraulics, how in the world are we gonna avoid this? I mean, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, but... We don't have any of this stuff. So, to be honest, this one stumped us for quite a while. We thought of, like, some weird weighted mechanism, but nothing really got us anywhere until we realized the way forward was a swing. And now, we were getting somewhere. As you can see, the boat's gonna go by. Then after that, Ambulance drives on, snaps this wood, and it swings right across, lands, and he barely has enough power to get up and get the flag. Completing the level, over budget and breaking, but finishing that monstrosity of a level. Next, we have 516C, Double Duty, where they added this Vespa in, which has to hit this checkpoint and then go down, which is great, I guess. I mean, this level was already one of the stupidest levels we had to try, but we'll see how it's supposed to run. Uh, fancy hydraulic movement, bring the taxi up, Vespa goes down, does a front flip, gets to the flag, this road drops off for the van, which locks into place, Van gets in position, milk truck finishes, and then you can complete the level. But obviously that's all nonsense for us. So we end up with this spaghetti of a bridge, which we'll go piece by piece. So this taxi's gonna drive up here and get in position for the catapult. Van goes across this swinging piece, hits a checkpoint, taxi gets catapulted, bang, into the flag. The boat's gonna come, snap this node, and then this swing is gonna start moving. The Vespa's now gonna go and hit this checkpoint, tip over, do a couple flips, and then get down there to get to the flag. Now the van's gonna go and activate that catapult as the milk truck makes it across the swing and goes into the machetes of roads to finish off. Obviously breaking, obviously over budget, but we got the finish. And now there's only one more level remaining. And for our final level, we have 11C 10 meter simple bridge. This is the first level in the game. How could it be that hard? You just put your roads in and then Oh, we have nothing we're allowed to support it with because springs are off limits and we're out of roads. Hmm. And for a while, we did think it was impossible. Couldn't figure out any way to complete it. I mean, obviously that just shatters immediately. There's nothing that's gonna work there. But luckily, the Polybridge Discord discovered a glitch known as a torque cannon, which I'd like to introduce you to now. So these roads fall on top of the car, and he thinks long and hard about his life, and whether or not he wants to get to the flag, and decides he yearns for freedom. He launches himself across the gap and tumbles into the flag, completing the level, breaking, but under budget. So, with that, we successfully complete every normal level and every challenge level in the game without using hydraulics, without using springs, without using rope, and without using cable. 
We also did alright on our additional challenge, having only 10 challenge levels that weren't both under budget and unbreaking. So, having done what we set out to do, we can put the series to rest. I'm burning curtains, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Secret world unlocked? Oh, I'm gonna have to do another video.